Hello guys, today I want to show you one online tool that will help you to debug your database structure and queries. I found it accidentally on Laracast. Not sure if you know, but throughout my web development career, I've seen a lot of this website, JS Fiddle. It is used for showing the snippets of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So you can create your so-called Fiddle, add your code, and then you get the link that you can send to your teammate, to online forum, or to someone that can view your code without running it locally. So this is the result. So you can click run and then it kind of compiles everything and shows it like a browser. And it's a very powerful thing, so you can choose in JavaScript, you can choose even the library in the framework, whatever, a lot of useful features. Another example of JS Fiddle is survey, something like that, so you can browse around. For example, let's change something, panel footer, text align right, let's change text align left, run, and it should probably be left. As you can see, the next button is on the left. So JS Fiddle is an easy way to show front-end code, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And a new thing I found really recently is DB Fiddle. So while browsing the Laracast forum for new ideas, I saw one post where user was asking about the query and about relationships, and he created DB Fiddle. So if we click DB Fiddle, let's see what's inside. So similar to JS Fiddle, you can run your database queries. First, of course, you need to create the tables and then you can run the queries and the result will be similar to something like PHP MyAdmin or SQL Pro, the actual data. And it comes in sections. First section, you create the database and fill it in with data. So basically it's exported from your SQL Pro or something like that. And I will do that myself in a minute to show you. Then you run all the queries from all the table to show the data. And then you run the actual question. So what is the problem and what is the result and what is an unexpected result? So this is probably an error. And in this post of Laracast, the user is asking that database is returning the entry for user 13 two times and you can see it exactly here. So for someone who doesn't have that database locally, it's a perfect way to understand the problem in a few seconds. Because I see that problem quite a lot. Someone is asking me on my YouTube channel or Twitter or email, can you tell me what is wrong with my query or relationship or something? And I cannot really answer without having that project locally, without understanding the relationships. I'm not a magician that can guess everything, every answer, so I do need to debug anyway. And this dbfiddle can help you. So how it works, we can test it out. Go to the homepage dbfiddle.uk. It's not .com, so you can choose MySQL version or other databases, but let's stick with MySQL version 8.0. And in my SQL Pro, I've exported one database table. Let's copy this code, paste into here. Let's remove all those system SQL Pro stuff. Drop table is not needed. So imagine you're playing with totally fresh new database. You create the table, lock table, not sure if it would work, but let's leave it. Let's remove all the flags and let's try to run it. So run and it is success. So no errors. This means all okay, but it doesn't give us any result. So let's actually add the result. So plus section two, let's have select star from posts because I'm creating the table posts here. We run again and now we have this table with data, which is scrollable to the right if you wish. And then we can add a third section with actual query that we want to debug. For example, select start from posts where views count is bigger than 100. And then we run all three. Again, everything success here, the table here and the table here. And as you can see, I don't need a local database for that. So I can send this link to someone, probably this link. Actually, let's try it out in another browser paste into my Firefox. And yeah, exactly. So I send this exact link to online forum or wherever, and then people can help me with debugging my query. So next time you're having a trouble with SQL query, please use dbfiddle and only then post a question to me or to anyone else, because that would astronomically increase the chance of someone actually helping you. And just generally, whenever you ask a question about development, remember the easier it is for someone to understand your question, the bigger the chance that they will answer and help you. So do everything you can on your part to explain everything in as detail as possible, and then you get the help. 
If you want my help, as usually, I'm sharing my email openly, so you can email me povilas at laraveldaily.com with your questions. For now, I'm still capable of answering. It's not that too many. The pile is getting bigger, but I'm still energetic enough to help you all, so you can email me with your questions. And if you want daily Laravel tips, subscribe to the channel, because I'm shooting videos daily. This week, it's daily, including weekends even. So I want to make it a morning routine for myself and for you guys, and I hope you will join me and see you guys in other videos.